the economic centers are North America, uh, based in the United States, uh, Western Europe, based on Germany, mostly France, and uh, Northeast Asia, uh, based on Japan, increasingly China, South Korea is a major uh, industrial power. And those three regions, now India is partially joined in in Southeast Asia, uh, those are three uh, major centers of uh, uh, economic power. Uh, they differ substantially in their characteristics, and to some extent, uh, to less of an extent than is often claimed, in my opinion, but to some extent, uh, the Asian center, the Northeast Asian center, mostly Asian, East Northeast Asian center, is uh, increasing in its uh, role in world affairs. That's very clear that we can see it in this crisis. Professor Chomsky, uh, so I'm just going to go over to uh, Max Kaiser because I think we're running out of satellite time there in Paris. Max, uh, I know you wanted to ask uh, a question of Professor Chomsky just before we uh, go on to talk about the markets. Sure. Uh, Professor Chomsky, I was wondering if you could comment on something. Those of us who cover markets and finance have noticed that there's a new propaganda model, if you will. Uh, Hank Paulson and Ben Bernanke are able to manipulate prices in the markets to get things done like this $850 billion bailout package. So it harkens to the uh, manufacturing consent and propaganda model, of course, from your work. And I'm wondering if you have noticed this, if you can comment on this, because it seems to this idea of manufacturing consent and the propaganda model has now morphed into uh, the markets who are, these guys are now manipulating prices to get policies through and to get public acceptance for their policies. Any comment on that? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the... Uh, Not the whole question. It, well, Ma Max was saying uh, whether your uh, propaganda model could be um, extended to the propaganda model for, uh, well, reinforcing uh, prices within the market. And in fact, that propaganda model uh, exerting a uh, huge impact on the way the markets are run and then the way the people then bail out those markets. Well, I mean, there are certain analogies, but it doesn't literally apply. The propaganda model has to do with, specifically, with the behavior of uh, uh, the uh, primary mass media, the corporate media, the state media, in slightly different conditions. Uh, but, but we the know, way the markets but we know, work is... You know, there are different but we know uh, but, but we know that if, th but but I I would uh, I would uh, disagree uh, we know that Bernanke and Paulson can influence public opinion by by behaviorally causing a shift in psychology by dropping prices and scaring yeah. people to no that's true so that it, I mean government that, officials okay. can certainly influence psychology but that's not the same dynamics as the way the corporate media function. Okay, and, but if you're manipulating I mean, corporate media and images to create a psychological behavioral response, and uh, isn't it analogous to go into the marketplace and say, look, we want the Dow Jones to drop 5,000 points to scare people into accepting our bailout package to fund the Pentagon, to fund the war machine. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it's, it's undoubtedly true that uh, statements by government officials can influence the market, but I really don't think that Paulson was calling for a sharp decline in the market. In fact, that's harmful to his interests. Interesting. Well, Professor Chomsky, we'll, calling... we'll, we'll have to take that up uh, another time. But Professor Chomsky, thank you very yeah. much for joining us. We will be uh, right. hopefully speaking to you uh, soon uh, as, uh, as the current economic crisis continues. Max, we only have a couple of minutes, I think, left on the satellite. But um, it seems to be the rating agencies that uh, are being blamed for the downturn in the Dow. But, uh, of course, is no one talking about retribution against those rating agencies? Well, I mean, on any given day, they're going to scapegoat somebody new. They don't want to talk about the true underlying problem, is that for the last 10 years, there's been a shadow banking system. Tens of trillions of dollars worth of bad debt has been kept off the balance sheet of the banks, has been kept off the public's balance sheets, and now all of these dead bodies are floating to the surface, and suddenly people are noticing that there's a lot of corpses around and they are getting scared and they are panicking because they now know that the U.S. economy is not growing. The U.S. economy has been in a recession now for more than a year. It's been negative GDP in America for more than a year. We know that unemployment is really at closer to 12% uh, than the 6% that the government is talking about. 
We know that the money supply numbers are skyrocketing. We know that the U.S. economy is in dire shape and sinking quite rapidly. But the, nobody in government wants to talk about this because they are too chicken. Yeah, photograph from Shadow Stats showing that uh, some people think that the uh, GDP uh, uh, decline started much earlier than uh, everyone's talking about at the moment. Well, that GDP number is a cooked number because they misstate inflation. In inflation, according to the government, using the inflation's deflator number, is based on a very select basket of goods, which would have us believe that the price of gas and food over the past year has only increased by 1%. Anyone who's been to the gas station or bought food in the last year knows that these prices have gone up 7, 8, 9%. If you subtract that deflator from the GDP number, you end up with negative GDP. And that's the simple fact. And just finally, Max, because we are running out of that satellite uh, time, obviously we spoke to Noam Chomsky, someone who uh, puts a great store by the people themselves. Uh, I noticed AIG uh, spent $440,000 of the $85 billion loan going to St. Regis Resort. Uh, I think we have a picture of that resort. How do you think the American people are viewing this at the moment? Well, uh, not only that, but I heard they stole the towels from the bathroom. Yeah, well, we're, we're trying to get that picture up, but uh, I, I, <laughs> well, I it's you know, it. it's Afshin, quite a nice place. Afshin, Afshin, last year I did a report talking about how the CIA, to do extraordinary rendition in Milan, Italy, checked into the finest hotel in Milan and spent five hundred thousand dollars over the course of a couple of weeks to go kidnap a, a man illegally in Italy and extradite him to uh, Egypt. So the, these government officials are quite used to the high life and the high style in the U.S taxpayer tab, of course. That's what you'd expect from uh, a very high class criminal. These guys are uh, put, put uh, the, the Gambino family to shame. Except, of course, they're not government officials, or are they government officials now that they've been bailed out? Well, exactly. Whereas this is the fascist model, you don't know uh, where the one starts and the other uh, ends. When the Pentagon, when it becomes JP Pentagon, or Goldman Sachs Blackwater, Who's to say which is which? There's all blended into one huge, colossal money laundering slush fund. The objective is to go start uh, preemptive wars. You know, I'm afraid we're all Palestinians now, Afshin. We all know what it feels like to, f to live in Blackwater's ghetto. We're all Palestinians. Well, uh, Max Kaiser, live from Paris, and of course, Professor Noam Chomsky, thank you very much for joining us.